What's up, everybody? Welcome to Slay the Spire. I'm going to talk to this three-eyed whale, get things kicked off. What are our options this time? Obtain three random potions. Obtain a boss relic. Choose a rare card. I'm going to do the three potions. There we go. What did I get? Two weak potions and an ancient potion. All right, that's fine. And which route are we going to take? I've had some bad luck with rooms in my last couple playthroughs. The rooms have all been fights. But you know what? I'm feeling lucky this time. I'm going to try. I'm going to go the route with all the rooms. And we're going to see if my luck doesn't change. First thing I'm going to do is defend a few times. Here we go. I'll, I'll take one hit. All right? Take one HP of damage from this stupid jaw worm. There you go. By the way, worm, you have legs, all right? I'm having a hard time believing that you're a worm, friend. Let's see what you got. Give me your best shot. Okay, you're coming at me with 11 damage, are you? All right, we're going to do this again. Here we go. I'm just going to slowly whittle you down while you slowly whittle me down. But the fact is that I'll whittle you down before you can whittle me down, so... We'll see who wins this race. Yeah, turkey. You only have nine hit points left. You're done for. You're done for. Just finish this thing. Go home. And by go home, I mean die. Go home to your grave. Oh, hey, I got a poison stab right off the bat. Is this a poison deck we're gonna build? We'll find out. I like a poison deck. You walk into a room, find a large hole in the ground. Aha! This guy wants to give me 175 gold. He wants to give me a doubt card. I'm gonna say, yeah, let's do it, buddy. I'll take your doubt card. Try to sell it later on. I can do it. Doubt card, no problem. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. It's warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. I can upgrade two random cards and lose 14 HP. I think I'm gonna do that. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, it upgraded my poison stab. That's what I'm talking about, son. All right. Um, I can do one more room, but that's going to miss the shop. That's fine, though. I'm going to do it. I'm going lucky. Come on, lucky. No fight. Yes. Among the stone boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. If I remove a card from my deck, it'll be 7 HP. I will lose. Hmm. I can lose that uh, card I just picked up, actually. The Doubt card. But I'm going to lose HP. Now, let's do it. Get out of here, Doubt. There we go. I'm going lucky. Going lucky. There we go. I'm going to fight Laos. Easy. That's an easy fight. Get out of here. One louse left. And I'm gonna bank all my money until I get to the second act and then spend like a madman. That's gonna be my plan, man. All right, you're gonna die next round, buddy. You gonna spit web? That web ain't gonna do nothing to me. Sure, it's gonna make me weak, but do you really think I'm not gonna be able to do three damage to you? That's crazy talk. Get out of here. Spit web. You must be crazy. Backstab! Hell yeah. That's my card. Give that backstab card. Gonna go ahead and sleep on it a little bit. I would like to upgrade a card instead, but when you're that weak, you gotta sleep on it. Okay. Got a cultist. All right, turkey. And get hit. And get hit. And get hit. And get hit. And you're already half dead. Gonna do a little incantation, are you? So this guy is one of those guys, like, the longer I keep him alive, the harder he is going to be to beat. So I'm just going to want to try to take him out as soon as possible, which is going to be no problem because he's going to die next round. I'm just really hoping to build this poison deck. Like, if I could build a really solid poison deck, I could do such massive compounding damage to these guys. Um, hmm. Lock potion, huh? I'm going to get rid of my artifact potion and take this block potion. And another backstab card? Frickin' yes, man. 
Yes, man. Thank you. Let's smith. Uh, definitely upgrade this backstab card. Heck to the yes. All right. Let's get a relic. Thread and needle at the start of each combat. Gain five plated armor. I love it. And we got another fire. Guess what that means? We're going to upgrade our other backstab card. That's 30 damage at the beginning of every damn fight. All right. Now, here's the real question. Do I keep on rolling the rooms? Or do I go fight? I'm going to fight the elite. Let's go get a relic. Let's go get an elite relic. With these awesome backstab cards, I can just kill this guy. Flat out. And then... Block there, do do a poison on that guy. Yeah, this deck's actually turning out to be pretty good. Now I just gotta figure out a way to burn some cards. If I can find a way to burn some cards, just really simplify this deck. I would really love it. Okay, another weak potion. I don't need another weak potion. Let's see, curse, expertise, and eh, I'm gonna skip those. We're gonna keep it simple, stupid. A couple of sentries. Sentries suck. I always hate fighting sentries. But as long as we can kill them quickly, it won't be that bad. And luckily, with those backstab cards, we can do just that. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to put those stupid dazed cards in my deck. Which are the worst. But they're going to be in my discard deck right now. So as long as I get some good attacks in on these guys... At the beginning. Oh, that's right. You had a debuff. You you jerk. All right. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. Just one wasted potion. Whatever. All right. So we have three more cards. One's a poison. That's great. Poison stab. And then they're going to go ahead and reshuffle all those dazed cards into my hand. Okay, that's actually not so bad, though. That's pretty good, actually. We can make this work. Do a strike. There we go. He's gonna die very soon. And then we're just gonna have one of these idiots sentries to deal with. But, he, of course, now all the dazed cards come at us. Of course they do. Uh, I got 13 there, and I can at least weaken you. Let's just weaken you. There we go. All right. Let's get rid of that stupid potion. You'll die next time. I'll take the minimal amount of damage. There we go. Perfect. You're dead. And now I can start working on the last entry. There we go. So he's going to daze me again. I've got a defend and a strike in my hand. Hopefully I don't get dealt all dazes in addition to that. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not that bad. All right, cool. Should be able to finish him off next round. Actually, no, I can't because he has one HP. Because I only had one strike card. But it's nice having this five-plated armor every round. That's pretty sweet. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, good. That one neutralized card was just enough. Old coin gained 300 gold. Holy crap, I am sitting on a stack of gold that is so big. Deal 12 damage, discard all non-attack cards. That's not bad. I'll take it. I don't want to add too many cards to my deck, but that's okay. That's that's an okay card. All right. Straight out the block. With a couple of awesome attacks. Um, then, boom. Defend, defend. Attack. There we go. I guess I only needed to play one of those defend cards, but that's okay. That's alright. We'll kill him this time. <sighs> Having those two backstack cards, man. If only I can get a third. Oh, who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll find a third. That would be incredible. I have a piercing, uh, piercing well, but I already have that card, and I don't want to keep adding it to my cards. I want to make my deck smaller, as a matter of fact, so let's refrain from grabbing cards. And go into this. Here we go. Boom, boom. Here we go. Non-attack. Dude, I can just finish this guy off right out the gate. That was an amazing attack hand. 
And another poison stab, man. If I'm going to do poison deck, this is the way to go. All right. Hopefully the next floor I can actually burn some of these strike cards. And then I'm just going to be like all poison stabs, man. Just all poison stabs. Um, so what are we going to upgrade? I can upgrade the... Speaking of poison stab, I can totally upgrade my poison stab. That'd be pretty sweet. I can upgrade my unload as well. Yeah, let's, up, let's upgrade the poison stab. If we're going to build a poison deck. Let's upgrade the poison stab. And let's fight the boss. Here we go. Big meanie here. All right. Let's start out with the... I'm going to start out with the poison stab. There we go. Get it going with the poison stab. Get a couple of... There we go. Good attacks in on him. And... All right. And I could attack him right now, but it's not going to really do much good. It's not going to break his, uh, his armor there. Okay, so he's got sharp. I'm just going to go ahead and defend until he settles down here a little bit. What I need is some more poison for this dink. There we go. Poison. Perfect. It's like I ask and it hears me asking. And it rewards me. I love it when that happens. There we go. Let's do four more poison damage. And let's go ahead and weaken him. There we go. So that's going to be 12 damage to me. Not bad. I got that blocked. No sweat. All right, here comes four more, or actually 12 more damage coming at me. Not a big deal, though. Again, not a big deal. No sweat. Here we go. I've already got that blocked, so let's go ahead and attack. Here we go. 20 more damage, and then he's going to curl up into a little baby ball again. I really love having this thread needle, too. Have I mentioned that? Thread needle is where it's at. Uh, I'm gonna drink my strength potion. Why the hell not? There we go. And attack you there. All right, all I need to do is three more damage. I don't have cards that can do three more damage though at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. That's right, my poison. <laughs> of course, he was poisoned. That'll do the trick for me. All right, so he's gonna attack back if I hit him. So let's see. Let's defend. Gonna do five damage one week. There we go. And let's do it. Let's do 14 damage. There we go. And eight damage. There we go. And oh, that's right. Out of energy. I got carried away there. Well, this fight's in the bag. This is good. I think my poison deck is starting to really turn out well. Digging it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play this hand here. Let's do some good defense. We need to re-up his poison. There we go. Perfect. Perfect timing. Let's re-up that poison here. Attack him. There we go. Now he's got 13 poison per turn coming in on him. So that should whittle him down pretty dang good. And let's hopefully get dealt some more poison cards here. There we go. Poison stab. Friggin' perfect timing. There we go. To unload. There we go. That's right. Curl up, buddy. And honestly, as long as I defend now for a few turns, he's going to die to the poison. This poison's going to kill him. It's, this is exactly what we wanted to happen. So at this point, man, like... All I got to do is... Sure, why not? Let's just really just go to town on poisoning this guy. He'll die next turn. Nice! That was handled well. That was nice. And that was quick, too. We just hauled butt right through that dungeon. Die, die, die is tempting to grab. But like I said, I don't want to add any more cards to my deck. I want to keep it simple. Uh... If anything, I want to get rid of cards. But let's find out what we got. All right, we've got a lizard's tail here. I can do that if I feel like I'm going to die. If I feel like I need to 
have a backup plan. Velvet Choker, gain energy at the start of each turn. You cannot play more than six guards per turn. Gaining energy at the end of each turn. That's kind of insane. And then, of course, Runic Pyramid. At the end of the turn, you no longer discard your hand. I feel like this Velvet Choker can really start to add up. Especially if I'm going to play a Poison deck. That can really pay off. All right, guys. But that is it. We're going to end the episode there. Act 1 in the books. You guys are going to have to tune in next episode for Act 2. Hopefully, we beat the boss and move on to Act 3. I think everything's looking pretty good for us now. And we have 796 gold. That's insane. So... We're going to go on a shopping spree next episode, too. But if you guys liked this episode, and I hope you guys did, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, subscribe. Uh, keep in mind, I am still a beginner. I'm a novice when it comes to Slay the Spire, so I'm learning. Uh, if you guys have any kind tips for me, drop them down below. And come back next time. I'll see you guys then.